one of the very important practices that we use in yoga therapy as well as a general yoga sadhana is the vibhaga pranayama that is the sectional and subsectional breathing we have the low mid and upper parts of the lungs that we use and we do the low chest mid chest upper chest breathing and combine it with the mahat yoga pranayama integrated complete breath one of the major questions that comes up the moment we start to do this is that many of the students get confused because they know according to anatomy that we have three lobes a low mid and upper lobe in the right lung but that we only have a lower and upper lobe in the left lung immediately a question comes to mind how are we breathing into the mid section of the left lung to answer that question we need to look at the anatomy a bit more and understand the physiology a bit more if you look at this you realize that the main respiratory passage the trachea breaks into or rather divides into the two principal bronchi and if you look at this bronchi on the right side it has the upper that is the right superior lower bronchus going into the upper part the middle lower bronchus going to the middle and the inferior lobe the bronchus going to that area so if you look at the right side you can see that once the principal bronchi have divided into two the right and the left here you have the upper middle and lower parts supplied by the next level of the bronchi when you come here to the left lung you find that this left principal bronchus it divides into the left superior lobe bronchus and the inferior lobe bronchus but immediately after that it divides into a superior division and what is called the lingula bronchus which supplies the lingula this is a key element because just as you have 1 2 3 on the right you have 1 2 3 on the left too so despite the fact that we only have two lobes on the left side the upper and the lower in the upper lobe itself there is a section called the lingula the tongue like structure which is also called the lingular lobe at times this lingular lobe functions just like the middle lobe on the right side so when you are telling your students do madhyam pranayama and breathe into the middle sections of your lungs on the right and left you are not actually telling them anything wrong because functionally there is an area on the left side that is equivalent to the middle lobe on the right this takes on even more importance when you realize something called the bronchopulmonary segments that the lungs each of the lungs is divided into 10 bronchopulmonary segments and these each of these bronchopulmonary segments the subsections in yoga we call them the vibhaga bhaga is a section vibhaga is a subsection and we have these 10 sections in the right lung and 10 in the left lung so both the lungs are equal just because the right has three lobes and the left has two lobes it doesn't make them unequal at all at any point so i just thought i would share this with you today to help you understand that though anatomically we may have two lobes on the left side we still have a lingular lobe that physiologically acts like a middle lobe so you are not at all wrong when you tell your students breathe into the low the mid and the upper sections you are perfectly well within the anatomical and physiological aspects of our human existence